When Apple announced iOS 12, one of the most amazing things about it was the fact that it will be coming to phones as old as the iPhone 5X. Just think about it, the latest iOS update is coming to a 5-year-old iPhone. I bet you can't name even one 5-year-old or even 4-year-old Android phone that's running on Android Oreo or even Nougat. Well, that's what I'm talking about today. Hey guys, I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and today I'll be talking about the sad state of affairs when it comes to Android updates. Before we get started, how about you hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we post a new video. Now that you've done that, let's get started. Let me just start off by telling you that Android Oreo is only running on 5.7% of Android devices. That means a whopping 94% Android phones are simply outdated. And then there is the iPhone 5S a 5-year-old iPhone running the latest iOS 12 update. Now we all know that iOS updates are known to bog down the performance of older iPhones, but that's not the case with iOS 12. In fact, when Apple announced iOS 12, they specifically mentioned that the new update is not only going to bring new features, but also performance improvements to older iPhones like the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 5S. I mean, the iPhone 5S here is not only running the latest iOS version, it's also faster. Now that is commendable. It shows that Apple actually cares about their devices. Well, I cannot say the same for Android makers. I mean, let's just take a look at the flagships that were launched in 2013, the year when the iPhone 5S was launched. So here are all the major flagships from that year. There's the Galaxy S4, the HTC One, the Xperia Z, the LG G2, and the Nexus 5. Well, here are the Android versions they were launched with. And this is the last update that these phones got. Now look at that. I mean, except for the Nexus 5, all of these phones only got one major update. Yes, all of these phones are stuck at Android versions from 2014, while the iPhone 5S is getting the latest iOS update from 2018. I'm an Android user myself and this just makes me sad. Now I know what you're thinking. The state of Android updates has improved over the years. Well, honestly, not really. Let me just show you some flagships from the last couple of years. First, here are the flagships from 2016. There's the Galaxy S7, the Moto Z Force, the HTC 10, the OnePlus 3T, and the Google Pixel. So all these phones launched with Android Marshmallow, except for the Pixel, obviously. And here are the last updates that these phones got. Now that's nice, all of them are on Android Oreo, but if you take a look at how long these phones took to get to Android Oreo, you'll get a better idea. Now Android Oreo was launched in August 2017 and the Pixel obviously got it on the day of the launch. The OnePlus 3T got it in around 3 months which is acceptable I guess but look at the S7, the Z Force. These phones got Oreo after almost a year since Oreo was first rolled out. No, that is not acceptable. So as you saw, the flagships that were launched along with the iPhone 5S in 2013 are just dead when it comes to updates. And things haven't improved in recent times either. I mean, sure, the flagships that were launched a year or two back are getting Android Oreo, and even then they are getting it pretty late. So yeah, 2017's flagships should get Android P, but you can't really say when they'll get it. And 2016's flagships, well, <laughs> they won't be getting Android P at all. Even the Pixel phones only get three years of Android updates. And don't even get me started on budget smartphones. I can name countless budget phones like the Redmi Note 4, the Moto G5 Plus, the Honor 7X that will never get Android P in their life. In comparison, an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 8 will definitely get iOS 15 or maybe even 16. I'm not an Apple fanboy, it's just the truth. So yes, the state of Android updates on older flagships or even flagships that were launched a year or two back is pretty bad when compared to an iPhone that is 5 years old. I always hear things like iPhones are too expensive, Apple overprices their iPhones, and iPhones are not worth their price. And you know what? Yes, iPhones are priced higher than Android flagships. But at that price, you're getting software support that no Android maker even comes close to. I mean, if you just consider the longevity that an iPhone offers, it's just unmatched. My point is simple. We want Android phones that last long, get timely updates, performance improvements, and security patches. And it's not like that's not possible. Google launched Project Rebel last year that makes it simpler for Android makers to push out faster, timely updates to their smartphones. So, dear Android makers, if you're listening, I have just two requests. Please use Project Rebel in your phones so it's easier to support them and we get timely updates. 
And also, please support your phones, at least the flagship ones, for longer than just a year or two. I mean, if I'm spending 50 or 60,000 rupees on a flagship phone, I should be able to use it for a long, long time instead of having to buy a new one in just a year or so. Well, he's hoping that Android makers adopt Project Rebel on all their smartphones so we can get timely Android updates the way iPhones get them. Anyways, I would like to know what your thoughts are about Android updates, so let me know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a like and share it with your friends who are using Android smartphones running Lollipop. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.